It's very easy right now, I think, to see the problem as being out there. Many countries have responded to this. England and France and Germany, countries around the world, who see the problem as being a terrorist problem out there, outside. Is this dangerous? Yes. It's very dangerous to everybody because even things that happen to us from other societies give consciousness to us that the same things are also occurring inside our society. And if we experience terrorism, then this brings consciousness that we may have the same problem, but we prefer to accuse others for it. In many cases, we have the same problems as we are seeing in the others whom we wish to attack. The society must begin to see that they have the same problems. In fact, I have noticed that the more a society is evolving economically or even in the more human area, the more development it has, the more terrorism it also has. The modern society has created an extremely unjust economical state in the world, which has caused very strong reactions to it. The more powerful nations have more conditions to create more problems to the world than the more underdeveloped nations. After all, economic injustice is a form of terrorism. If the external terrorism is really just a projection of what you call internal terrorism. What are some of the things that we have to be aware of then in this picture? Well, when we notice terrorism outside ourselves, we need to see that in a certain way that terrorism also exists inside as well. In this case, in the nation that sees the terrorism only outside itself. So we cannot say that certain nations are dangerous and others not, because the question of terrorism is not a question of this or that nation. It's a universal question. So if a nation sees terrorism coming only from the outside and not from inside as well, it is actually in more danger than the one who is willing to look at its own internal terrorism and take care of it in a more careful way. So, it is very dangerous to see the problem only on the outside. This brings up the question of psychological projection, which is a process where the person sees the problems that he has in the other person. So a nation that sees the problem outside becomes a very dangerous nation to itself because it doesn't see that the problems are actually inside itself. What do you mean by internal terrorism? Uh, how does this show up in our daily lives? In the larger social sense, it is very important for a nation like America that they begin to get conscious of the need to see the internal problems so they can protect themselves from themselves. Back in the 80s, I wrote a book about fighting the American decay. And this book showed that if a country does not perceive its own pathology, its own social pathology, that country will destroy itself. As the Roman Empire did, as the British Empire did, like the French Empire did, like the Russian Empire, the Soviet Union did, each country will destroy itself when it doesn't have consciousness of the problems, the dangers that it creates to its own existence. Can you talk a bit about psychological projection? Why do we do this and how does it show up in our lives? This question of projection is the central point of sickness in the human being and in society. The individual who refuses to see his own problems begins to see the problems outside of himself. So it is with a nation that doesn't see the problems it has. 
it will begin to see those problems in other nations. So this is a source of tension between nations, because instead of taking care of its problems, the nation comes to believe that it has to destroy to get rid of a problem, a problem that is not out there, but is actually inside itself. It is very important to see this. In the study of pathology, we call this paranoia. Paranoia occurs when human beings do not see the problems in themselves, and as a result, they create enormous difficulties for themselves, even to the point of entering into deliriums. The same thing happens with a nation. It will have delusions and bad relationships with other nations, as in these cases of countries that don't have much consciousness of their own problems.